<coughs> hey guys, Negative Caleb here, and welcome to today's video. Now, today's video is dedicated to my brothers and sisters. Hope you are watching and enjoying. I love you. Miss you a little bit and a lot. At the same time. <laughs> but, anyways. Now, today I'm jumping into Chapter 3. It's been a while since I've played this game. I think it's a few weeks. Possibly a month. But, last time I left off completing Chapter 2. Now, today I'm jumping into Chapter 3. I don't know what to expect. I haven't played the game in a while. It's been updated. And, well. Let's begin. I'm gonna go chapter 3, select chapter, I've completed moving pictures, completed the old song, rise and fall is today's chapter, and without further ado, let's get into it. Now I'll be looking for a lot of easter eggs, like as pointed out to me by my sister, who is a, was a fan of this game, a fan of the new one, uh, Dark Revival. Anyways, um, going down the demon path, Bendy spawns a lot less, but I don't get the Tommy gun. Going down the angel path, Bendy spawns 2% more, but I don't know how to avoid him. But, I get the Tommy Gun. Now, if the game seems a bit laggy, I apologise. Computer's having a bit of an off time. Also, if I get a bit annoying with the crackling in the background from my aircon, I'll try to edit it out because now I've got some software to edit out the sounds and even eventually learn how to use it properly. Wow, this is sensitive. Hopefully it don't affect me too much. And just walking out the door, the first thing I see is boxer shorts and overalls. And I can't get that out of my head now. Seeing Boris's boxer shorts. Real. Don't tell me. Yeah. I'm walking in the toilet water, aren't I? Alright. Ew. Ew. Somebody had some black diarrhea? Fuck. I do apologize for my swearing. I've given up on trying to be child friendly. Literally. It's impossible for me. Child friendly is not something I can do. Especially when I'm playing a game that puts me on edge. Which I love the feeling of being on edge. That's why I love playing games like... Bendy and Ink Machine, Five Nights Freddy's, Hello Neighbor. And what in the living hell is that? Is that like supposed to be Bendy, um, the Butcher Gang, and Boris all mixed together? And uh, Alice Angel? That is terrifying. Boris, why the hell would you do that? Well, did I do that? And why is there a mouse door there? Literally, I've never seen that before. I know there's one Easter egg straight off the bat that I can get. And that's giving Boris a bone. I'm not getting out of here that easy. Need to open the door, but the lever is missing. Boris probably has it. Boris, do you have the leather, my old friend? 
Do you have more lava? Press. Hey, buddy. You seen that lever handle around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? I thought so. Let's see what we got. I'm pretty game. Good at playing a banjo. <laughs> I'm a banjo kid. I reckon my mom will understand that reference. The banjo kid. She showed me that a while ago. I was a little, um, little, little yahoo when she showed me that one. I look at it. How the hell does a kid play a banjo that quickly? Especially one half my age. Mind you, I didn't get that much older. I'm still young for my age, but legally, I can do stuff now. So Boris sleeps in a hammock, I sleep in a... Give me a second, I'll go grab this. Ooh. I sleep on a porter bed. Really? I've slept on one of them before, they're really, really uncomfortable. I don't know how the soldiers pulled that off. Oh, Boris has a plushie. That reminds me, I've been seeing in EB games recently. Um, there's bendy and ink machine plushies that come back out for a limited time only. I'm like, ooh, my sister knew about this. She'd be on it quicker than I am when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's. Ping, ooh, new game. <laughs> yeah, that's right, because I'm waiting for the new game to come out when I get my PlayStation. There's one thing I will be doing on my PlayStation, playing Bendy and Ink Machine Hello Neighbor 1. Like the first Hello Neighbor, Bendy and Ink Machine. Um, what else was it? Um, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. And the last one, I'll be playing the Spyro Trilogies, Terraria, Minecraft Dungeons. For a matter of fact, I'll be playing that. I've got... And last but not least, I reckon, um, if I can say so. No, wait, there's two more. I'll be playing GTA 5 online, allowing that should be enough viewers to join in. But also, I'll be playing um, Minecraft, like the regular Minecraft. No one. Because there's new stuff in it, and I'm like, they fixed the bug with the minecarts, how they're so slow when you got a roller coaster, because they nerfed them, made them slower, and then that made them jumpy, as in the game was staggering forwards. No, if you walk forward out the door, before getting Boris's bone, I think it was. I think it works. You pull this lever, Boris comes over. Yep, there it is. That triggered it. Come on, Boris. You follow me? Boris left. Now me. Ah. Damn it, Boris. Why are you going to be so cruel? This came to my attention. I've got to find one of these. <gasps> I did it. I did it. I got the bone. I got the bone. I picked up Boris's bone. And that sounds so wrong. Hmm, sounds so, so wrong. You out there, buddy. Oh, it's Let's see what's out there. Don't wander off. Aha! I did it! You, how could you lock me out of there, Boris? 
Even after I got you a day. Scrum's just fine. And that still sounds wrong. I know someone's gonna put that out of context one day. I just have a feeling it says that. And I just had me some bacon breakfast. You're shooting me. Really, Boris? I've got to turn down the sensitivity. Wow. Alright. Hoping the video doesn't cut out and have to start again. Really? Computer's been doing that a lot. Wow, this is gonna be half the video. Look, trying to look forward. These two miracle stations. They're just porta potties. Literally, they And there's a bendy cut out. I hate these things. Can't destroy them, makes me sad. Looks like it's really dark up ahead. Let's find some light. Torch. Right, I got a torch. Let's walk forward. Boris, still got your blown? Yeah, good doggy. Don't be scared, Boris. I'll keep the light near you so you don't get lost. You telling me Boris is about to walk ahead of me? <laughs> He's shitting his bed. Come on, Boris. You show me the way, buddy. Show me the way. He obviously heard that. Did you hear that? Yeah, me either. He obviously heard that. You guys saw that. He jumped. He looked around like there was something wrong. Wow. Another dead end. I don't see any other way through. You got any ideas? Apparently, Boris? the game will show Boris with a bone from now on. And even Tom might have it if I'm lucky. That's the Boris in Chapter 5. I never got to Chapter 5. Amazingly, I never made it to Chapter 5. You stole my torch. Uh oh. Give me a second. Feel like sneezing. Ah, that's better. Ah, that's better. And Boris is nowhere to be seen, and yet a creepy ass face. Oh, I see a giant plushie. Whoa. Wow. I don't remember any of this. Fucking wow. I don't know if I'm going to cut the video in half. Might do so because... Or that hum, that's Alice Angel. I don't know if it's a good one or the bad one though. Anyway, my friend told me um, these things have saved the game. It's like um, the save button. Every time you click it, it saves the game. And here's where it left off. Last time I was playing the game, I was using a controller. Why is there always something blocking the door? Gotta be a way through. I was playing the controller, and I could not reach some of the toys, so... If I can't reach some of these toys, I'm probably gonna cut the video off. And try to figure out what the hell was going on. 
Was I a midget? That's one. So your toy's like, I couldn't reach this toy right here. And it was right in front of me. Jala wouldn't let me grab it. That's where it changes. Last toy. And now I have to figure out how I'm going to reach this one. Ah! Didn't let me do that last time. Didn't like me that much. Now, to get the Tommy gun, I know there are three things that I need to do. First, that uh, ink bendy has to become ink machine because then it's non, not going to happen. And I want to know what's on that tape. And that is just downright creepy. The big ass bendy cut here. I went all out with this game. I've got to do it a lot of times. You're shitting me. Can I get past it? No, not yet. I swear to god, if Bendy just appears behind me, I'm ending the game, literally. If he appears while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna go, nope. Gotta get the last two out. Making more progress than I did with the controller. Wow. Doing pretty damn good. Alright, first things first. Boris. Skull. That was Alice. There was a skull between Boris and Alice. An ink machine. Let's see who you are. Oh. Um, Jack Septicai. That dude's a fucking legend. I've watched his channel for quite a while, and it's fucking wow. He's in my, a game that I've been wanting to play for a while. Fucking yep, that's just made my day. That just made my day ten times better. And I have a feel that my day's about to get worse. But uh, let's see what this is. Alice Angel is everywhere. She's quite a gal. <laughs> gal. I haven't heard that word in a while. Nope, 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 nope. I can't move back. I can't move against the door. Uh, fuck that! 
Nope, 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 nope. Where the fuck am I? Everyone saw that, right? I was against the back, trying to fucking walk against the door, and all of a sudden I'm up against the window. Now, last time I used to play the game, I'd always go demon because Bendy wouldn't spawn as much, made my game a lot easier. But every time I never got Tommy Gun, no matter how much I followed the rhythm, until some light came onto it, and I found out evidence to state the angel path because you're following Alice Angel not Bendy the ink demon or dancing demon whatever you want to call him or what you might call it <laughs> yeah that's made my day feel good Bendy the ink machine jacks up guy what was that Well, I don't get to go back and see what was on the other side. Now do I? But I get a friendly little tape. One that I've never heard before. Everything feels like it's coming apart. But I walked into the recording booth today. Sammy was there with that Allison. Apparently, I didn't get the memo. Alice Angel will now be voiced by Miss Allison Pendle. Poor oh, Susie Campbell. Poor girl. Gets kicked out of her job. Fuck, I'd hate to be her. Even though I'm still working to get my job. And you, you little cunt. I'm coming to kick your ass. I'm gonna kick somebody's ass today. I know there's a jump scare along here. I know it. I just know it. But I'm not liking that there's a door. And a pile of ink that's bubbling. Nope. And a dark corridor behind me. Nope. Bubbling ink it is. Fucking... Mm. Every fucking time that gets me. Every fucking time. Yeah, this is how long I haven't played the game for. I get Boris. Oh, you scared me to death. Exactly. I suppose you've done anything we can use to protect ourselves with. I'll take that. This will do. Bastard. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. You fucking bastard. You almost made me heart jump out of my chest. Sorry to everybody if I sound intimidating by doing an accent. It just makes me feel, feel a bit more funny. You cunt. You telling me I can't break this cunt's face in a cardboard cutout? Wait a fucking... Um... Gin pipe. Yes, I remember the names of the toys and the tools and the fucking characters and the story of what you call it. Up and up. Looks like fucking wood dents. Yeah, the voice is starting to hurt. I would do a Mario the voice, but Mario is a bit, um, how you say, tied up playing a Mario Kart. Oh, Woohoo! And people are gonna judge me on that one, for sure. 
25. To open this, we're gonna need to throw two levers at you once. You get this one. I'll find the other. Really? Looks like I'm about to have the run for my life scene. When I get my PlayStation, this is gonna be a lot smoother. Three, two, one. There you are. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. How's that fucking feel? Any more, you bastards? I'm waiting. You hear that? That means I'm ready to kick your heads in. No? Huh? Didn't think so. Now, if I can turn off the um, speed of the game, I might die a fair bit. Heads up. In this game, I'm gonna die a lot. And I mean. Shockingly. Ooh! Secret tape. And secrets up ahead. I'm not liking this. Alright, let's go over this again. If the pressure goes over 45, I screw up the safety bolt and tie it up, right? Oh, for the last time you do that, you blow every pipe in this place. If it reaches 45, you unhook the safety switch. You sure? You know, this sounds harder than comparing earwax to beeswax. Look, it's not that difficult. Just keep an eye on the gauge. Look, pal, if you think I'm doing my job and yours, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Fuck, I'm gonna love it how, um, what's his name goes. I'm out of here. Yeah, I found secrets. Where am I walking? It can't be. It can't be. It can't be. No fucking way. Feel familiar? If I turn around right now and Bendy's right there, I'm fucking ending the game. Thank fuck. That was the, um, that was from the, um, ad, or the, um, teaser. Yeah, the teaser for a Bendy and Ink Machine game. What's down here? Oh, <gasps> ink machine! I fucking saw that! That was the ink machine! What are they doing with it? Hmm. Bendy, what are you up to? You snaky fucker. Heads up, a lot of my videos from now on are gonna have me swearing. I don't give a shit anymore. Child friendly is just for wussies. If you can't suck it up, don't watch it. Fucking Boris, get out of my way! You fucking lazy ass dog. You're no good for nothing. Fat fuck. Now, I know what these are for. You hide in them when Bendy comes along. But... Really? I can't enter the toilet for gents? And ladies? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a fucking Bendy in the ink machine. And I say, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Level K. Yep, that's me. This is my level. Caleb's level. That deserves to be a meme. Let me guess, locked. Fuck you. 
Alright, Boris. Into the fucking death trap elevator. So the only machine I don't trust. So besides the plane. I have to say, I'm an instant fan. Looks like you've got a date with an angel. Come to me now. Angels aren't no, quite no. my thing, lady. Just follow the screen. That sounds like my thing. A demon woman? Ooh. Evil. Hot. <laughs> very, very hot. But an angel woman? Woman, you lost me. You play an angel. Come on. Step out of your cage. There's yeah, gladly. a whole twisted. In. Just to make sure it saves. Because I'm probably going to quit after this Alice Angel thing. Because really, video's half an hour so far and I don't want to go too much longer. That's where the Tommy gun comes out, but every time I've never been able to pick it up. Three, two, one, launch! Fucking run, Boris, run! Run for the wind, you fat fuck! Oh wait, you're not fat yet. Sorry. <laughs> run for the wind, Twig! Run, Twiggy, row! What? The... Oh, Boris. So sorry, Boris. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry. Oh, and the funny fucking thing is... Look what's right there. Sticking out. No, wait, sorry, that's not that. That's his strap for his, um, over. I thought the bone effect went to all, every version of Boris. Even the dead versions. Look around. It took so many of them to make me so beautiful. Lady, Anything you ain't beautiful. I know what beautiful is. I've met beautiful women. You is one ugly bitch. And Boris is one heck of a tick turd. And Ned is one ugly fucker. Fuck you all. Pinocchio! 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 What are you doing up? Ooh. Sorry. I didn't think you. I thought you were somewhere else. Sorry. Oh, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this one. And. And if I look to my side, Benny or Alice is gonna be there. Yep. Come on. Now we come to the question Do I kill you? Do I tear you apart to my heart's delight? The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. How's Woman, you is ugly. <laughs> Take this little freak, for instance. He crawled in here, trailing his tainted ink to my door. It could have touched me. It could have pulled me back. Do you know what it's like living in the dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like, like fish in a bowl. The first time I will not let the demon touch me again. 
I'm so close now. So almost perfect. <sighs> yes, I will spare you. For now. Better yet. I'll even let you ascend and leave this place. If yeah, Uncle Bullshit. Easy, weasy little favors for me first. Return to the lift, my little errand boy. We have work to do. You're up, man. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be continuing this video through. I'm gonna call it the day. It's almost fucking uh, 40 minutes long. And I see me some breakfast. Breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Alright, um, one video I'm gonna try to bring back to my channel. I don't know if it was on it originally. But it's Kindergarten 2. Because I never bothered playing Kindergarten 1. Because really, he wants to spend their days doing money puzzles and besides kindergarten 2 has more stuff to it than number one that I never got into I don't know if I recorded it I'm gonna look back at my channel anyways I'm gonna cut this off in a few minutes I'm gonna get back to the damn uh, lift I'm gonna save the game hopefully I don't have to start again Start again. I apologize, but the video is going to cut off, cut itself off very, very shortly, and I don't want to be in the middle of doing it, doing it, and the video cuts off, and then I don't have enough explanation as to why you haven't seen the rest of the video. But first off, my machines are hungry. Gather me some spare parts. Bitch. I'm trying to end the video. A fucking wrench is no better than a fucking gent pipe. Crack. Night night. Give me two seconds with that bitch and I'll knock her unconscious. There are so few rules to our world now. So I saw that. But there is one rule. We all know and respect down here. Yeah, the ink demon. Where the ink demon. Oh, it's Stay different. Stay in the open for too long and he will find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you see him, you'd better hide. Oh, fucking if hide, I well, I enjoyed our date. Now, that wasn't a date. I never even got you take you to bed. <laughs> and I wouldn't take your ugly bitch ass on a date. You're fucking ugly. These plastic elevators. Sometimes they open, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they come, sometimes they keep on going to hell and back. I keep telling these people, if Mr. Toby Drew keeps cutting corners like this, someone's sure to end up falling to their death. And it sure ain't gonna be me. I'm taking the stairs. So there are stairs. No, last time I played this, one thing I learned. Bendy can't run upstairs. He can run down them. He can't run up them effectively. He gets stuck. And... Back to the old grind. Alright, this is where I'm going to leave it off, my friends. Family. And whoever the hell is watching. Boris, you keep on chewing that damn ball. You have a nice afternoon, Boris. I'm calling it quits for today. I will try to continue the video. I'm going to be practically what doing what Jack did. Cutting the video up into pieces. And besides, the game's really laggy, so this would have took me three hours. To do just the one chapter, chapter three. And I'm not taking three hours to do chapter three. But there is one thing I'm doing. Because even though I'm on that... 
angel level bendy still spawns down here. He's the only place he can't spawn is on the elevator. He can't even enter it half the time. Because the doors are shut. How many close calls I've had with the elevator and Bendy where I've just shut the door and he's just standing there running there and I'm right this, right up in his face. It's like, problem man? You got a problem? Now you be a good boy Boris. I'm gonna see you later. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna uh, save the game. I'm gonna exit off and um, hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.